Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. Um, so, obviously, you guys have probably heard it by now. Um, the big news that came out today is that the um, Ash Ketchum story is coming to an end. Um... I was totally shocked to hear this. Um, I know that they, you know, obviously it's kind of hard to avoid spoilers when it comes to Pokemon these days because Pokemon, they just post everything on goddamn social media these days. Uh, it's really hard to not see it compared to other animes. Um, but... So, Pokemon is um, wrapping up their uh, Journeys uh, series. Um, however, um, Pokemon... Um, I'm not going to say how it ended, but y'all probably should know by now. I mean, even if you haven't watched it yet, I mean, it's all over what happened. But, uh, basically... Ash's story is coming to an end, uh, as it was reported today, that Ash will uh, have 11 more episodes, and uh, starting in January um, 13th in Japan, I don't know when it will come out in the United States, I don't even think we have the batch of the last episodes uh, out yet um for the united states uh you know for the pokemon league and whatnot so ash story is coming to an end and um man oh man i i never thought i would be making a video on this i never thought this would be a thing to be completely honest with you the 25 years of ash ketchum um, you know, I just, I'm going to be honest, I never thought Pokemon would do it. I never thought the Pokemon company would do it. Um, they, they never aged them up. They never, uh, got rid of them. They, they kept him. He was the foundation of the entire anime. Like when you thought of the anime, you thought of Pikachu and you thought of Ash. Like, that's the, the, like, I mean, he was the quarter uh, whole center stage of the whole Pokemon anime. So, for him to not be featured anymore in the anime, to me, is going to be very weird to not hear about, oh, well, Ash is not going to be around anymore. And it is a big gamble. It is a big gamble. Um... You know, because of, you know, him, the whole anime being based off of him and, you know, his journey and his adventures. Uh, I just don't see how you go further uh, without a character like that because of how much they emphasized on him for so goddamn long. I mean, yeah, it was easy if they had done it in the first couple of seasons and they changed over to someone else. But they never did that. And he became synonymous with multiple generations now. Um, I I was there from the beginning. Uh, when the English dub first came out in 1998. You know, Ash was introduced to my life. I was seven years old, I believe. Because it was 1998. I think I was seven at the time. And that puts in the historical contents of the character. Of how much of an impact he had on my life. Probably you the viewer's life. Um, and even the next generation. Everyone that watches Pokemon. Or plays Pokemon. Or even has a little ounce of it. Knows who Ash Ketchum is. Um, I mean when, when, when we talk about Pokemon. That's the first thing. That's the first person that's really brought up. When, and they know like. People that are not even anime fans that, that that know something about Pokemon. 
know who Ash Ketchum is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how synonymous of a character he is. Um, and to... I was thinking about it all day, even at work, like how to sum up a character like that. You know, a character going away. I mean, it is truly an end of an era. Um, if we never see Ash again, I don't think that's going to be true. I, I think Ash will make cameos from time to time um, in the new series, and I'll get to that later. But, I mean, what is the synonymous about Ash, you know, that stands out? You know, what is the thing that everyone looks to when you think of Ash Ketchum? And the thing that I always thought stood out was he never gave up. He always trained hard. He always cared about his Pokemon, cared about his friends. I never felt that Ash was selfish in that way, that he cared about his Pokemon. And um, I think that's the thing that stands out the most about a character that you could truly, you know, as a kid watching Pokemon, um, you could look up to. And, you know, even probably of this generation that, you know, of kids that are watching Pokemon now. I mean, obviously, us adults that from the old generation that, have, that still watch Pokemon or still play Pokemon, you know, we all understand it. We were through the Pokemania era. But, you know, for this next generation, they still, they think about Pokemon for anything else. And I think that's very important. Um, so, in the uh, 11 episodes of Pokemon, the next, uh, the final 11 episodes of Ash and Pikachu, um, which is another risk too, by the way, that they're not going to have a Pikachu in the next anime, Pokemon anime, apparently, uh, who is the mascot. Um, <coughs> I don't exactly know what the future holds. Now, the last 11 episodes, it was confirmed that Brock and Misty will be in the last 11 episodes. Now, there's already theories going around because of this. And we'll get to this. This picture was put out uh, for the next anime uh, after the 11 episodes are done. This is supposed to happen during the summer or something like that. This is basically supposed to be the next region, which we kind of already seen in the games. Uh, Violet and Scarlet. I'm assuming that's what the anime is going to be called. It's going to be called Scarlet and Violet. Um, now, some people are theorizing that this girl is probably Ash's daughter because of the Ash original hat symbol as, like, the bead or whatever on her hair. Um, I don't believe this, this female protagonist, I guess she's going to be the next protagonist, it has any relations to Ash. Uh, as a matter of fact, I do not think Ash uh, will have a time skip. A lot of people are thinking, like, well, is he going to get older? Is he going to be an adult? Is he going to be a teenager? I don't think Pokemon is going to age Ash up. Because it's already a big risk to have Ash uh, leaving the series to begin with. Uh, it's already a huge risk. And in case this series doesn't pan out without Ash, they can always go back to Ash if they don't age him up. <clears throat> because again, this is still a huge gamble to have Ash parts a part away part ways from the anime. It's a huge risk. It's a huge gamble. I mean, that's why they kept him for so long. That's why they kept him for so long, because they didn't want to have a life without Ash as the protagonist of the series. So I can't see them fully doing a time skip. I think the new series is going to take place at the same time of the events of, of the current series. 
It's just not going to be Ash anymore. Um, because again, there's still more things they can talk. They can. I mean, it's going to also depend on how this series is focused because it, or this these last uh, last eleven episodes are handled. Because from the looks of it, <coughs> they're they're bringing Brock and Misty back for all eleven episodes. So I'm not exactly sure what the plan is, like where they want to set this all up in motion until the end. I think it's going to be more of a flat ending uh, to kind of be like until we meet again type type story. It's still going to be emotional if you're a lifelong pokemon fan that that watched this stuff in the beginning and you're watching it now it's going to be emotional for you as it should be um but i don't think the new character is any way connected to ash and yes she has black hair but you know what it's very common in japan to have black hair there's a, it's very common for the game characters to have black hair it's not really that much of a coincidence okay um we got to be realistic here this is a kid show after all um and and it seems like the anime is very cautious when it comes to doing stuff like that. Um, so, my take on this is... Ash will get a proper ending, but it won't be this... Oh, we're going to do a time skip type ending or whatever. Um, it's going to be where it is. No, there's going to be no comas... Because I know that theory's been out there for years. That's not happening. They're not doing that. No, I just think she's going to be a new character. I just think she's going to be a new character. The, the, the female person or whatever. I think this going to be a new character. Same thing with the guy uh, character. It's just going to be a new character. People took... People draw up way too many conclusions just because they see Ash's symbol on his hat on her head. That could also be an like, you know, kind of a tribute, you know, you know, to Ash parting ways too. I don't think it has any significance. But I know for the next multiple amounts of weeks, we're going to hear theories. I, I think they already have theories out there. And some of them I just laugh at, especially with the blue eye thing. When most pokey girls had blue eyes. Um, so, a lot of dumb theories. She also has a mixture of blue hair, too. She's not just black hair, it's blue hair as well. Um... So, yeah. Uh, as well as the starters. And that's going to be interesting, too, because, again, there's no Pikachu here. There's no Pikachu here. There's no Eevee here. It's just the three starters. Uh, three new starters for the new gen. It's a very, very risky move. Very, very risky move uh, for Pokemon to go in. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I said that the moment Ash's story ends, it's because Pokemon feel confident that they can move forward without Ash. I said that a long time ago. Because I said at that point, like about six, seven years ago, they were never going to retire the Ash character unless they could feel confident that they could move forward without him. They must feel confident that they can move forward without Ash. Because that, that's the only reason why I could see them doing this now. At some point after Gen 7, you know, because they lo he lost Gen 7. A lot of people thought that that was his best team that he had, had up to that point, but he lost. Uh, at some point after the events of Gen 7, they had to have, uh, you know, in, uh, into, uh, or I'm sorry, Gen, was it Gen 6 or Gen... No, Gen 6 is the... the 
I'm sorry, Gen. The current one is Gen 8. The last one was Gen 7. So Gen 6. Okay, Gen 6, when he lost the Pokemon lead on his best team. Um, that was a telling moment because everyone believed that he should have won there and he didn't. And then the next season, uh, he won. He won the league and probably in one of the weakest teams he ever had. Uh, and still won the Pokemon League. Um, so, yeah, that happened. And um, it's one of those things where, you know, they, at that point, at the beginning of that season, or it couldn't even be the beginning, it had to have been in the middle of that season, where they decided he was going to win the Pokemon League and they were going to transition. Because they couldn't have predicted all the, the Netflix stuff and something, because that was in Disney. They, they were part of Disney for that region. So, the Netflix stuff, you know, I don't know what happened, but they had to have, at that point, set that up. Because we all thought he was a Pokemon Master when he won in Gen 7. When he won in Gen 7, we thought he was a uh, Pokemon Master at that point. Because he won the Pokemon League. But they said no. They tried to make us forget about that and then do journeys. Um, so yeah. My thoughts on this is... I'm going to be very emotional. I, when, when this comes out in the dub, I'm going to obviously watch it. I'm actually trying to catch up on the series now because of this. <laughs> Since this is probably going to be the last time we ever see Ash. Uh, I don't think it will be the last time we see Ash. Uh, I think he will make cameos in the new series as himself, not as a time skip. Um, but... You know, if this is his last time, I want to I want to enjoy his last moments on screen, um, because this might be it. This might be it for Ash, and it would really suck uh, to not see him again. Uh, very very emotional. Um, you know, the Pokemon Master thing. I I just can't even describe it. You know, I mean, I can't even describe. <laughs> the ending the, the this being the ending of him um i don't know what else to say uh i all i have to say is uh ash ketchum you know thank you I mean, we're talking about a fictional character here thank you ash thank you pikachu for all the memories and everything you've done for me and everyone else <laughs> thank you Comment, rate, if you like this video, my views. That's about it. I'm the S Ultimate Goku. Gotta catch them all, guys. Out of here. Peace.